Hi guys, welcome back to my La Seraphim journey. If you are new here, uh, this video and all of my La Seraphim content is being sponsored by one of my lovely Patreon members, Ray. They have a nice, beautiful list of things that I'm going to be reacting to in order. Um, so what's up next is the mini album, Fearless. So for Fearless, we have the music video, the lyric videos for the other songs, and then I think I have a studio tune, a dance practice, and a live performance that I also added myself. Um, typically when I do album reactions, I like to add in other content besides just the music. I like watching the dance practices and them perform and things like that. Uh, this is getting posted on my Patreon first uh, by a few days and then YouTube a few days later. If there is anything that I am reacting to that is copyrighted, there will be a filter over it. Um, it's just, it is what it is. YouTube just sucks sometimes. So I do apologize for that if I think the live at the end I might have a filter over it. I'm hoping not. But before we get into the mini album, we are going to start off with the La Seraphim easy track samplers for their latest album, which I'm excited to get into. So here we go. And by the way, thank you guys. You guys have been lovely in my last uh, two videos. Interesting that they don't have names on them yet. Beauty and Ugly, Vision and It's got those rock sound. Beauty and ambition and aspirations are unstoppable. Okay. Whoa. Oh, not the grill. The jazzle teeth. Does that sound like a recorder? You like with those recorders that you played in elementary school? It's got a nice heavy beat or a bass to it. That beginning was definitely giving me like a Jesse Bieber. Or is it this beginning? Is that, uh, oh, is that song off my face? That's, that's what it reminds me of. Is that Beaver? Probably not. I like the beats of this song. It's great. Hold on. We'll, we'll get through all of them and then I'll talk. So much lovely bloom with, with the each other. Is that the last one? It is. Is there lyrics at the end of this one? I was just gonna say it's interesting how um, a melody and the lyrics could totally change your perception of a song um, because the tracks were great but like how different do songs sound once the melody and the lyrics are in like the the singing is actually added is how often do you think you could listen to just a track and not recognize that song 100% at first? Probably a lot, or at least for me. So 
is super, super excited to hear what they sound like with the melody on top of it. All right, getting into Fearless mini album, starting off with an intro track from what I'm assuming or the intro because it's only a minute and 47 seconds. Um, I always have an issue with intros and not in a negative way. I mean, I have an issue with intros because I feel like a lot of times I really, 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 really like them and how they sound and then it's only like half, half of a song and I get angry. <laughs> So here you go. Yeah, crank that shit up when you listen to music. The world is perfect. Wind chimes. Did we get English, Korean, and Japanese? Am I am I crazy? Let's go. This entire intro gives me that vibe of like those uh, scenes in movie theaters of like the main character like strutting through a club, like pushing through people trying to get somewhere and it's just like everybody's dancing around around them. I'm weird, I know. All right, I am not gonna lie. I know this song. I think everybody knows this song. I, I mean, how do you not know Fearless and Anti-Fragile, right? Like, if you're into K-pop, you know that song. At least I, I, I think you would have to, right? Um, have I seen clips of this? Absolutely. Have I watched this music video from start to finish? No. So let's go. Um, I adore this intro, by the way, like how clean they are doing this. Like, especially the arm part. I didn't really say swore in the song. Oh! Ayo! The cat ear, Sakura! Cause 
I forgot about this part of the choreo. Do they do that at the end of all their music videos? No, I don't. Again, I mean, everybody knows this. Like, how how do you not, I guess, like Fearless? Iconic. Okay, Studio Shoom, let's go. Like, look at the, mm, so clean. So in sync. Power rock. crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This is so good. too it's just like contrast between like hard and soft
getting into the songs that I don't know, which I'm super, super excited for, because yes, the amount of times I've heard Fearless and Jam Alter it every single time it is a lot, but I I don't think I know anything outside of their, their, title, their title tracks. <laughs> Blue Flame. It almost went into this like, like mumble singing, which is really cool. Pretty. It's got a pretty falsetto. Base came back in. It's almost like I'm hearing two different instruments in two different ears. I like each one in my ears. The contrast between like a lot of their lighter vocals with the the more like heavier dance beat they have a, a really cool producer I really like their um, production on their tracks I don't even know like you'll learn I don't know genres whatsoever okay <laughs> but whatever whatever you call this it is um, a, I call songs that Le Fares, Le Seraphim make fall into what I would listen to like day to day, every day, like my everyday listening. Yeah, so usually how I break things up is like a lot of the hard hitting, heavy sounding stuff, which I adore. You can only listen to that, or at least me personally, I can only listen to that at certain points of the day, right? 
whether it be if I need to clean, if I need a gym, or I'm just feeling angry, right? Like you have to be in a mood for that. Same with a ballad. Like I have to be in a mood for a ballad. Um, so far from what I've seen with Seraphin makes, makes the middle ground songs that I can listen to at any point of the day, whether I'm feeling down in a ballad -y mood or I'm feeling in a hype mood. So these are type, the types of songs that usually I play most. Blue Flame Dance Practice. Digging the white and pink. Okay, you have to bear with me. I'm still working on this. Shewon, Yunjin, Kazaha, Sakla, Unche. And obviously there are five here, so this is after the uh, guru had left. What is more satisfying than watching a dance practice and the sounds of shoes stomping on the ground together, like in sync? Ready? Ooh. I like that. These are, this is one of those choreos that is like deceptively looks easy, but they are moving constantly. This one's gonna be tiring. No, I don't mean like easy, more like simple. Look at how freaking clean they are! <laughs> That's the best. The only dance move that I could probably do. It's super cute! I love the amount of personality that they each have in just their dance practice. It was really nice. Alright, I think second to the last song, The Great Mermaid, which has me curious. I love mermaids. <laughs> Yeah, another great track.
That's right. Oh, snap. It's an angle of me. The words are all nonsense, nice, liar. I, I'm loving the like self empowerment messages that they have in their songs right now. That's right. Don't need no prince. I feel like I am missing a re reference somewhere. Let me know and explain to me why the song is called The Great Mermaid. Now, I caught the references about diving in, obviously I caught the, the lyrics about diving in the ocean. There was part in the beginning about like, something about a seven-lighted tail. Feeling the beautiful little seven-lighted tail, all of it. It's all me, I don't wanna sacrifice. Are they calling themselves mermaids? And they don't need to change for anyone? Let me know. I am not the great, the greatest at dissecting lyrics. Um, usually it takes me like, I don't know, 20, 20 listens and 20 reads for me to put two and two together. All right, last song. Uh, sour grapes. I'm not gonna lie. They have some of the the, the greatest freaking song titles that kind of make you go mm, Like you have no idea what the song is even remotely going to be about or like the subject I feel like a lot of songs you can kind of like guess what the subject matter of the song is going to be But no, like what are you singing about in a song called sour grapes? Nope, like the great mermaid that could have been a love song. Nope.
it's got it. Kind of like being bitter. really like the tone of her voice. I really like the, the change up here. I never really liked you. Fearless, this might be my favorite song of the album. This is, I really, really dig this song. This is why I'm happy we get to watch a live performance of it, um, which may or may not be blocked on YouTube. If it is, I apologize and there will be a filter over it. I really dig uh, Chewan's hair like this with like the blonde underneath. I'm 
The bubbles. debut album are you freaking kidding me it was really good uh one of the groups that i'm gonna be mad that i didn't um start standing in the beginning but i'm not that far they've only been out what a year well you know you're late it's all good it's all good um as always drop in the comments any tidbits of information you have um regarding this album or this time period is totally cool um, I am currently watching Produce 48 over on my Patreon um, channel, so I am getting the kind of beginnings and starting a little bit of a couple of the members. Um, bear with me as I'm on this journey. You may have to tell me and repeat things 500 times because one, I have the memory of a goldfish and two, um, I react to so many groups on my channel and I... I also explore other groups off my channel and a lot of times uh my head is just filled with cotton and I just forget shit because I have too much going on so as always thanks for the love and support um the girls are absolutely amazing I'm excited to get further I believe the next thing I next thing I'm doing is what is it called day off day on day one day something Whatever that is, um, see, Memory of a Goldfish, uh, that is coming next, so you'll see that next week. Um, and of course, anything that is dropping for their current comeback. So, I shall see you later. Love you! Bye!